the glorious Quran is not a book of science, but a book of science. Yet it contains many undeniable facts related to science. The Quran on pulsars and black holes. When large mass concentrates into a very small volume, it makes a black hole. Neutron stars are remnants of exploded stars. As small matter falls into a neutron star, its mass increases. And as its mass increases, its gravity increases. A point will be reached where gravity would have grown so much that not even light could escape. Thus, a black hole forms. Most neutron stars discovered today are in the form of radio pulsars. They are called radio pulsars because they emit radio waves. We can simply connect a radio telescope to a loudspeaker and hear a pulsar. Pulsars sound like someone persistently knocking. So in short, we can hear a pulsar knock, and if matter continues to fall into this pulsar, a black hole will eventually form. The Quran describes a star by the one who knocks, and says that it is the one who makes a hole. In the Quran, and the heaven and the knocker tariq in arabic how could you know about the knocker the piercing star thaqib in arabic the arabic word thuqb means a hole thaqib means the ones who makes the hole the quran is describing a knocking star that makes a hole how could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known that a star can make a hole? Allah swears by celestial bodies that are invisible, that move, that sweep. In the Quran, I swear by those that are invisible, khunnas, that move, that sweep. Satan is invisible and is described in Arabic as Khannas. Quran chapter 114. The Quran uses the same word Khunnas to describe the celestial bodies that are invisible. All celestial bodies have gravity and can sweep everything in their way, but the only ones that are invisible are black holes. Indeed, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the prophet and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.